Dance hall is a popular genre, and dance hall actually utilizes popular rhythms and popular dance moves, mm. along with a strong heavy reggae beat, as well as a folk beat. One of the things with dance hall is the ability to cross over from original Jamaican reggae rhythms to a sort of a hip hop style of music. Whenever you produce a song in dance hall, it's closely associated with a dance. This is the picture perfect sunrise, I guys. Know. It's you guys so look pretty. beautiful right well, now. Thank, thank you. So you. do you. Thank you. This is a very exciting day for me. Okay. I, we've done all these great activities this week, and I actually get to do my first base camp Woo! activity. Yeah. What is it? Dance hall reggae. Bomb! Yeah. Yeah. For so, real. Uh, yeah. We're going to do, uh, we're going to go and learn how to do dance hall. Bro, I you've know. danced dance hall before? Never. <laughs> well, we got to go. because That's it's, so you know, exciting. Okay, let's go. It's one of the only dance schools that you can find in Montego Bay, so that it's pretty unique, and you're learning about the history of music through dance. What are you going to teach us today? I'm going to show you some of the dance hall movements that you're so dying to experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Okay, so this is my friend Kofi. You're a teacher as well. Yes, man. Okay. I'm a dance teacher. Why don't I introduce Jody, one of the That'll teachers be awesome. here? Jody, That'll come be awesome. over here. How oh, popular is dance hall here in Jamaica? Would you say is one of the number one types of music and dance? Definitely dance. Dance hall is what is Jamaica, yeah. so yep. that's what we are known for. Oh yeah. Um, persons come from all over the world to just to learn, just to learn dance hall. What type of background has the dance hall? Well, if if I go back into history yes. with, and looking at things like ska yeah. and yeah. mento and uh, komina, all these traditional folk forms in the past is what influenced dance hall today. Jamaican people <laughs> are. African in origin, and African people know how to use our body, we know how to gyrate, <laughs> and we know how to put energy into the music. When we dance, we just don't dance because it's a rhythm, but we put our whole bodies into it. We are a melting pot of the different cultures as well, that's what I wanted to point out. So we are not only focused on the African um, retentions of our culture, there are many other different nationalities here in Jamaica. Awesome. Anywhere you go in the world, you'll find a Jamaican. Yeah. So just think of any influence that you, any country that you can think of, there's a community here. For example, Germany. You would never think that there's yeah. a German community, but go to Port Portland and there's a German community. Yeah, I find that once an Indian is born here in Jamaica or a Chinese or whoever, once you're born here, you're Jamaican. We think very similar in Canada. Really? I'd love to right. hear that. I think yeah. what you'll find is that we, we once you get inside and start dancing with Jody, <laughs> you'll realize why we're such a melting pot of cultures. Yeah. So why don't we just Let's do go that? make this <laughs> conga line, let's go. We actually did kind of a progression of dance. So we started with the ska, then we went on to reggae, and then we went to dance hall. Here in Jamaica, and I think maybe everywhere in the world, but here specifically, they have a history of music through dance. And you look at these different genres of music, and you find out that there's actually a dance that goes along with most of them. You got that drum? I got that. Got the it? ska is one of the basis of the reggae move. I've done this move before, but like this. <laughs> but it's the same. We're all here just to have a good time. Whether you're a good dancer or you aren't, it doesn't matter. It's an equal playing field. So for me, today was all about fun. It's our last day here. So all of us being in Jamaica for the first time, I think it is, you know, a positive way to end this trip. One, two, three, lift. Can you go? Two, three, oh, fail? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can have whatever you want, right? Let's do it again. <laughs> So if we're dancing it's to like a party. reggae song, still dancehall? If what? No, if reggae we, and dancehall is two different. Totally different. different. Yeah. Dancehall is what I would call a branch mm -hmm. of reggae, which is closely exactly. intertwined. Yeah. Okay. That's a good but dancehall tends to be party music, upbeat music. Right. Reggae tends to be more conscious lyrics. Okay. They were teaching us all of the history behind dance. So when you have that understanding of what you're actually learning, you take away from it a different perspective. So that's Ska. Yeah. Let's move on to the next part. So 
So it's a rock steady. All right. Let's rock it out. We're gonna add some hands. That music is something that brings people together. It helps you connect. It it makes you laugh. It's it's something special that can really bring people together. So that was something actually that I also saw today. Like me and Troy were not the best dancers, but we were both smiling and laughing throughout the whole thing. You know, and whether you're doing the moves right or not. You still have a smile on your face and you're still able to connect with other people. In the first part of the day, Emily was giving her. Okay, Emily's fully on point and I'm seeing her completely keeping up with these dance moves. I'm behind the camera, I can see her feet and her hands and everything she's doing. She was completely on point. And then for the second half, I noticed her stumbling just a little bit. That made me feel a little more connected with her. Yeah, you can, Lizzie. <laughs> You and I have the same issue, Emily. Yeah. But it's not even about doing right or wrong, it's just about expressing yourself through your body with the music. We were laughing, we were having a good time. The kids were having such an amazing time with us and that was great to see. And that's all it is, I cannot ask more for that. That's the type of things that I ask and that I search when I travel. So, so far we're there. And that's kind of the evolution of dancehall. Yeah, so we took it from but to, to rock steady, to dance hall. Jordi was amazing. I can see and feel through her bones the love of teaching. Being a dance teacher goes more than just teach dance. It's something that you use to keep that generation going for that dance to don't get lost. It's a great way to communicate and to express yourself as a body movement. Obviously, Rodrigo was natural at this because of his dance background, so it was really fun for me to be able to see that come out in him because I hadn't yet. That was really special, and I saw how much he connected with the dancers and also the instructors. Emily was awesome. I mean, she was such an amazing person to travel, to watch her around, and talking to the people and learning more about their lives. That's something that it really touched my heart because that's what we want to do. We want to inspire you just like Emily and all their new base campers to travel, to get out of the resorts, to get deep into people's culture, to know how they live, to take that time to have a relationship with these people. The week has come to an end and we're wrapping up our travels here in Jamaica. Coming in for the first time with two people who know each other, it's always, you know, there's always going to be an element of getting to know those two people and, and learning how you fit into that group. I think having these activities was something that really brought us back together. It's something that, um, looking back, I'm always going to have those two people in my life with great memories and it's going to be an experience that I'll, I'll never forget and Jamaica is a really special place. The people here are so positive. They're honest, they have a smile on their face when they talk to you. They want to connect with you and that's something that you don't always find everywhere. I feel really fortunate that I got to be a part of this. Mm -hmm.